welcome to another work or review video. My name is Constanza and I try out gear so you don't have to. Today we're going to be talking about Patagonia, Duluth, and Carhartt overalls. I've included all of my measurements in the description box below. Hopefully seeing how the sizes fit me will help you make a better decision when shopping for yourself because I know how hard it is to pick sizing when you're shopping online. I want to get started with Patagonia today. These are the women's all season hemp canvas bib overalls. I got these in an inseam regular so you can pick between a short, a regular, or a long inseam for Patagonia. These are a size medium. The material is pretty lightweight. It's a little bit more rough and doesn't have a stretch. Even though there's not a lot of stretch in these pants, because the pant legs I found were so roomy for me, uh, I didn't really have an issue moving around or bending over, squatting down or anything like that. These overalls have a front bib pocket that is split into two. They have two really deep front pockets, which is nice and they have two back pockets in the bottom of the pants. They also have side pockets that are very deep and wide and you could definitely fit a good amount of tools and pens and that sort of thing in there. But unfortunately there's no hammer loop or any pockets with zippers. Um, yeah, it's a pretty limited amount of pockets in these pants. The one very crucial detail about these overalls that makes them an absolute deal breaker for me is their straps and the lack of ability to adjust them. They only have two buttons and they only have two holes. <laughs> there is really no ability to adjust the length of these straps. We have adjustable straps on overalls for a reason. I wear my overalls all year round, so sometimes in the summer, sometimes in the winter, and I need to layer them differently depending on what kind of weather I'm working in. And if I can't adjust the straps, these pants are not gonna work for me. It's also just an absolute nightmare to unbuckle and buckle up again. Let's say you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you have to. I don't know about you, but if I'm going to the bathroom, especially if I'm in a porta potty, I'm in and out quick. I do not wanna be messing with buttons. I do not wanna be messing with skinny little buckles. Patagonia calls these all weather. In Canada, these are not all weather pants. For the summer, spring, definitely, but they are way too thin. You'd have to really layer and this is not gonna protect you from the cold. So I think these are more warm weather overalls. Another extremely unfortunate detail about these Patagonia pants is that the button just pops open. <laughs> when I would wear these and I'd be working, the buttons, like I would move in a certain direction and the button would just pop open. Like, hello world, here's my body. I would not recommend these overalls. <laughs> Don't spend your money on these. <laughs> the next set of overalls that we're gonna be talking about are the Duluth Women's 40 Grit Flex Twill Bib Overalls. I got these in a size small. Normally I fit a size medium and everything, but these fit really large. These come in a size range of extra small to extra extra large, but like I said, they fit big. I was only able to pick an inseam of 31, and I don't know if this is because they were sold out for all their other inseam lengths, or if it's because it's the only length that's available. For me, it fit great but I think that if you're shorter and this is the only inseam they have to pick from, they're gonna be long on you. These were about $69 Canadian and that makes them the cheapest pants that we're gonna be talking about today. These are your basic overalls. There's absolutely nothing fancy about them. They don't have zipper pockets, no frills. The first thing I thought when I opened up the box was Yikes, I don't know how these are gonna hold up because the material, honestly, at first glance is, it feels cheap. The website says that the fabric is supposed to be durable and I did read some reviews saying that they're pretty sturdy. So, hey, they might be deceivingly durable in which case, awesome. However, I will say that as soon as I put these on, I was like, okay. I really, really like them on. These are very light material and very good for hot weather. I've been wearing these on hot days to test them out for this video and I have felt great with them on. They're stretchy enough to be comfortable that you don't feel like they're stiff. 
These may not be great if you're putting a lot of wear into them, but the price is amazing. They're very comfortable, so for lighter jobs, they might suffice. I've had some requests to talk about plus size options. Duluth has a whole line of pants and shorts and shirts, I believe, for plus size women. Um, unfortunately, Duluth does not have any overalls in their plus size line, so come on Duluth, get on that. But um, if you are someone looking for plus size options, definitely head over to Duluth. The straps are really, really easy to adjust. Too easy, in fact. While I was wearing these on site, I found that as I was working, the straps just creeped down like this and loosened up. And so throughout the day, I was readjusting my straps all day. So that's kind of unfortunate. Like, I think it could be worked around but it is an unfortunate characteristic of these pants because other than that they're so great there are no zipper pockets anywhere on these pants which is not great i like to have one for my keys or my phone or whatever but i mean like i said they're basic basic overalls they've got a large bib pocket in the front that's kind of split into three sections two very large front pockets two pretty large bum pockets a belt loop on the left side and on the right side you have your standard pockets um, that are slightly thinner and longer and they're a, a decent size as well. Other than that, that is it. Luckily, unlike the Patagonia pants, the buttons stay put and don't come undone as you're working. <laughs> Overall, these are a good budget option um, if you're working in warmer weather or if you just like to work in something a little bit lighter other than a few of the details that I pointed out I would buy these again I am so excited about these mainly because I feel like I can fit in with the cool kids now that are all wearing Carhartt but it's also exciting because I was slightly disappointed with their pants they look good but didn't really work while I worked so having these Carhartt overalls be so amazing is awesome because I actually want to wear them. These are the Carhartt Rugged Flex Relaxed Fit Twill Bib Overalls. I got these in a size medium and a regular inseam. For Carhartt you can also pick a short, regular, or long inseam. And this style comes in an extra small to triple XL. The first time I put these on I was going into it with a very critical eye because I'd already worn their pants and because I've just heard so many mixed reviews about Carhartt gear, women's Carhartt gear in particular. So I was like really putting them to the test. They are so stretchy, like unbelievably stretchy. I didn't have to adjust them once and I was going out of my way to climb high things and bend down and squat a lot to, to, to really put them to the test. and. I didn't have to adjust them at all. The bend in the knees is amazing. My hips and bum didn't feel constrained while I was moving around. Really, really awesome. These have a zipper pocket right at the front here. And I love this pocket because I just put my keys and my phone in here and I can whip it out and check it whenever I want. And it's so easy to have my valuables just sitting right here instead of in my pockets where I might sit on them or or bend over and like have them dig into my stomach and my thigh, you know, as it did with the Carhartt pants. Ooh. These overalls also have a set of additional pockets in the bib, one slightly larger one and then a few kind of like pen size ones. They go down in size like that. I don't know if you can see it goes this one smaller than slightly longer and slightly longer, which is nice because, you know, if you have different size tools or, or whatever, it, you, you don't lose them in the pocket. They've got two very large front pockets, which I love. Two large pockets in the bum, a hammer loop, the characteristic leg pocket on the right side as well. And then on the left side, you've got additional pant leg pockets. We haven't seen that with any of our other overalls that we've talked about today. They have a reinforced leg, which goes from the top of the thigh to the bottom of the knee. You can adjust the straps and these straps don't move around like the Duluth overalls. These sit, you adjust them, and they stay all day. 
I also found these to be extremely flattering. Like I just felt so good walking around on site with these on. They feel durable, they're stretchy, they're pretty thick. I wore these on a pretty hot day and I could feel it like I was getting pretty hot, but it was manageable still. Overall, amazing. I'm blown away by these overalls. I'm really happy they look good and fit well and move well with my body. Double thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I was able to provide some good information on the overalls that we talked about today. If there is any brand that you want me to look into or any gear that you want me to review, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk to you all soon.